wonderful. Were you concerned at all about? Uh, he, just well, he's we don't. We didn't it. know what he's going to do in the mud. We were more concerned all afternoon, wanting to know if it's going to rain or not. But then we got our answer. But <laughs> anyway, no, he ran great in the mud. He's obviously handled it well. It's really cute. Is we actually years ago won the Hanson at Arlington with a horse called the Bongo who had the track record there for years and it was so much fun to, to win the same race again. Doesn't happen very often. What's it been like to have this horse? I mean, it took you to the Kentucky Derby. And... It's a thrill. Thrill, it's a homebred, which is the most exciting part of it. Um, and going to the Derby, it's one of those things you never even dream of. But it, it was absolutely, it was a challenge, it was fun, exciting. Um, and then to have him come back and win this year on the undercard was great. There's and life after the Derby. It is. There's life after the Derby and it's fun. You can actually win there. Even if you don't win the Derby, you can still win some other times. It was great. Had to look down the paddock again to see if he'd run in the mud before and he had. And so it's always a little bit of the unknown, but Florent did a good job. He's a very good gate horse. Uh, Florent letting bounce out of there. He had a little pressure, but you know, soft enough open, opening quarter to where he, he could get a little bit of a breather down the backside and uh, really responded well. And uh, you know, I have to watch a replay, but uh, big, big run. Um, it looked like he really had to get into him a tremendous amount down the lane, and uh, you know, very proud of the effort. He's on a nice little roll now. He is, yeah. I think it has a lot to do with you know just cutting him back in distance. His runs at the fairgrounds were good, uh, but I think we're seeing a horse that could step up and and not only be competitive at the graded level, but hopefully uh, be, be a winner. You know, at the grade, I almost took this horse to the Nayrud. Um, just bouncing back and forth all week on what to do, and Wednesday morning was kind of decision day and thought about entering in both spots but decided to you know that this this race here uh today would make the most sense and it, and it worked out well three technique that you beat in the last race flattered you by winning the neighbor yeah he did i was watching a race here at ellis in the paddock yesterday at 3 a spot i was watching the race and i looked over at my son i said three techniques gonna win if he gets through he, he looked like he was uh, you know traveling really really well congratulations to jason cook i know it's a big win for him and his team, and uh, well, well, it's a very nice horse. Yeah. She's done a fantastic job with that horse. He's not even done spit box yet. What makes uh, what kind of races make um, makes sense for the next start? Uh, you know, look, I, I would I would say um, <laughs> we may look at some, something at Saratoga with him going seven yeah. eighths. Um, um, you know, we'll, we'll first and foremost watch him, see how he comes out of it. He might be something that we we ship up there and just kind of let him chill out, enjoy the cooler weather of the mornings, and. Uh, you know, see how he handles Saratoga. If he does, maybe we'd give him a shot there. But, um, you know, very proud of the effort today, and I think there's no doubt anything anything moving forward will be one turn or less, anywhere between seven eighths and uh, one turn mile. So it just shows again there is life after the Derby. Absolutely. Well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, him, we ran three last year. This horse has responded well. Cyber Knife was, you know, um, a great winner after the Derby, before the Derby, and. Barely defeated in the Breeders' Cup mile, and um, obviously off the stud. Uh, and then we had Tony Port, which rebounded and came back and won the Ohio Derby after the Kentucky Derby. So uh, we have four running it this year. Maybe all four of those can can somehow uh, redeem themselves. Uh, and they, they have with obviously uh, verifying coming back and running good here, and maybe Indiana Derby this weekend. But yeah, there's totally life after the Derby. Uh, you got to watch the horse if they need the break. They need the break, and, and uh, they all need breaks at some point. It's just when you you know when. When they're asking for it, you got to give it to them. And you got to be excited just overall about your weekend here, and th the weekend here as a whole was amazing. Yeah, no, it was great. I mean, the, the fans here, I've noticed, it's it's really picked up, and, and you know, good fans, uh, good crowd, and uh, you know, it looks like a lot of on on uh, track support, which is big. And uh, you know, I, I told said yesterday, else has always been very good to us. We won our first trainer's title here. It means a lot racing a lot to us as a stable racing here. We keep horses here basically May through November, uh, a large string, and we use this place as a, uh, um, you know, a place to get a lot of babies ready. So it, it means a lot to us and it really fits in our program well.